This wonderful machine is British made and it's made by the same company which makes razors and it's the Wilkinson motorcycle. It's a thousand cc and it was manufactured in 1912. It was their attempt to produce a luxury motorcycle and that it certainly is for its day. War in 1914 did curtail production and Wilkinson then went on to make armaments. Only about 200 of these wonderful machines were made and this is number 160. So why don't I get on it and show you some of the interesting features that this machine has. Uh, first of all I should mention that it has four cylinders which is very modern and somewhat rare in 1912. Another big difference is that the oil systems in those days did not recirculate as they do in a modern engine. And in this case, uh, it was a hand pump which pressurized the tank and then by adjusting this small knob, one could see the oil dripping through. It went to the engine where it was burnt or dripped or lost. The engine is cooled by water by means of a radiator. That in itself is unusual at that time. In this case, there is a feature which is even more unusual, and that is that behind the radiator, there's a fan to improve the cooling. That is a very modern feature, which you see on most modern motorcycles. Uh, this is the handbrake, and it's a feature which is more related to a car than to a motorcycle. Starting this machine is somewhat unusual. Most machines had a kick start, some of course was push. But this has a handle start and it's necessary to pull this up, engaging the ratchet into the flywheel to turn the engine over and this is the way in which you start it. It's necessary to be very careful doing this and I think that people with short legs would be at some risk. <laughs> I must say, it's a very nice motorcycle, very, very smooth. It's easy to handle. It's more like driving in a small, light car than it is a motorcycle. It has a very quiet engine, and when you get into top gear, you can slow right down to a very low speed and pull the throttle, and it will just pull away gently, and it's quite magical. In the sales literature, it was stated that it would do certainly in excess of 60 miles an hour, and I'm quite sure that it would build up and do that on a long run. Overall, a really nice machine to ride. If I had to make a criticism, a small one, it would be about this wonderfully upholstered bucket seat. It is so comfortable and holds you so snug that I think there is a danger of dropping off to sleep.